Hi, I'm Jamie Mayo. I'm uh, the Assistive Technology Coordinator at Washtenaw Intermediate School District. And I'm also one of the um, creators of the Tinkered Toy Box group. Today we're going to modify a spin art toy so that a student with a disability can use a switch. Maybe they can hit a switch with their head to use the spin art toy. They'll hit the switch and it'll make the table start rotating around so that the paint splatters all over their artwork here. So the first thing I did was I carefully cut the tape on the box so that I could get everything out without destroying the box because we want to be able to put it back in the box when we're done because the unboxing of a new toy is part of the fun. So we want to make sure that we can reuse the box. I took the toy itself out. There's still some other pieces that get attached to this. We don't need to assemble everything. Just um, take out the main piece of the toy. That's the part that we're going to modify. On the back, there's a compartment for two C batteries. I put the batteries in, and now I just want to test it to make sure that it works, because at this point, we can, if we have a toy that doesn't work, we can return it to the vendor and get our money back and get a new toy. Once we start cutting wires, we've voided the warranty. We can't get a new toy. So the way it works, you push this button, the table starts spinning. When I push the button again, it stops. All we're going to do is add a switch jack here so you can plug in any three and a half millimeter switch jack or switch and use that to turn on the rotating table to play with the toy. So now that we know that it works, we're going to take the batteries out. I like to have a cup to kind of catch all the little pieces so they don't roll onto the floor and get lost. Okay, so I've got the batteries are out. Once the batteries are out, there are four screws in here. We want to take all four of those out. Okay, and this top part comes off. And be real careful because the wires on the underside are pretty fragile. And you can see from the switch, we have two wires, one that goes to the motor and one that goes to the battery compartment. We're going to remove this one that attaches to the battery compartment. So for that, I'm going to use my soldering iron. And I'm just going to melt the solder enough to get the wire off. There it goes. Now we have our switch jack. If I put the long uh, connector at the top, I'm going to connect one of these wires to one side and then another wire to the other side. So let me grab some soldering tools here, some helping hands. This black wire already has the end cleaned off for me so I can get to the wire. through the hole and then kind of hook it around the hole so it stays put. And then our other wire, I 
I'm going to strip both ends of the wire. This is a 22 gauge wire, so I'm using the 22 slot in my wire strippers. Stick that through the other side. And bend it around. And I'm going to solder those two wires to that connector. Then this red wire that I've added, yours may not be red, I'm not sure, but mine is red. I'm going to put that onto the battery compartment where the other wire was. It's probably going to be able to use the solder that's already there. Now I'm trying to see these two wires will come out the side. So we have to make a little slot for them to fit in to slide out the side. I have a little like serrated craft knife that works. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use the utility knife. making two little slots about a quarter inch apart maybe a little less and then I'm going to use needle nose pliers to bend it back and forth till it breaks off just a little piece of plastic that I broke off Now in here I have a little slot where those wires can go when I put everything back together. So I can carefully 
run this wire through the slot and I am gonna super glue it in place. I'm gonna make sure everything looks like it's gonna fit okay before I put on super glue because super glue is permanent. And this is just gonna make sure that these wires don't get pulled by anything and come loose. Okay, and while I'm waiting for that to dry, I can kind of see where my switch is gonna go, right in the middle between these two ribs, I can put a hole in the plastic right there. Oh, my super glue failed. I have a quarter inch drill bit here. I'm just gonna drill a hole through the plastic. Careful not to get your fingers. It's going to fit right in there and come through the other side. I have all this plastic. I have this little reamer. It's a blade that goes around so I can clean off some of that plastic. If you don't have this, you could just use a utility knife to clean off the extra plastic that's sticking out. this little nut on the jack, take that off, put the jack through the hole, put it back on the other side. And I'm going to use needle nose pliers to tighten that up. Firm. It's not going anywhere. Okay, I'm going back to my super glue here since it came loose. sit here and hold this for a while. And I'm going to very carefully put this all back together so I don't, I'm watching all the way around to make sure I don't pinch any wires in here. back. Put the four screws back in. Okay, 
Okay, I've got all four screws in. Now I'm gonna put the batteries back in. And then the battery compartment. And then screw that down. I have the jack and the button. I push the button, nothing should happen because we cut the wire that goes to the switch button. So nothing should happen and it's not, so that's good. I can see with this button when it's off, it sticks out a little bit more. When it's on, it goes in a bit. So I'm turning it off. Then I'm gonna use one of my buttons here. And this is uh, one of the makers making change buttons that you can make with 3D printer. I plug that in here and then if I turn it on <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> and I have a short somewhere of course so then we have to figure out where the short is. Okay, that feels strong. Now we have a new switch jack in there. And I'm going to replace the batteries. And give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to use my Makers Making Change switch. Plug that into the switch jack, turn it on, and when I hit the button, it starts spinning. Yay. When I let go, it stops, but it takes a second for it to stop on its own. It'll stop quicker when it has all the paper and everything on it. But there it stopped, hit the button, and it goes. That's it, it's all done. Um, now I would pack this back up into the spin art box so that it's all packaged in the original packaging and you can leave the batteries in because we're going to have engineers take a look at it and just make sure that the wiring looks good and safe for the students to be able to use and the last thing is to remember to find the tinkered toy box tag that comes with your toy that should be in the in the bag that we gave you with your toy and you wanna make sure to sign this. So everybody who has worked on the toys for each student will be able to look and see who the team was that made their toy for them. So your name will go along with the toy to the student that you're donating it to. Package this up. You can put this back in the bag too. Make sure that that doesn't get lost. Make sure you don't have any extra pieces and parts lying around. And that's it, you're all done.